Paul McLean, the kickoff for Australia. And the new man on the far side there, well, that's uh, Gareth Davis, the 5'8". In fact, he kicks him to touch. The fullback was standing over behind the post. And the first line out, 15 metres inside the Welsh half. And as I look out the ground, as the game has started, there are still more than 2,000 people still waiting to get through the gates. And that's only one of the main gates here at this ground. There are other gates as well. And that's the view outside the ground as play inside the ground is on. And already a tremendous push by the Welshman. Well won. Paddy Batch caught down towards his quarter, but the referee's whistle has gone for the first scrum. And we'll watch here with interest the new Welsh halfback, uh, Terry Holmes, only a youngster, age 21, but a big man. He's over six feet tall. Yes, he's 21, as Norman said, six foot one. And uh, he's over 13 stone, so that's a pretty big halfback. I saw him in Brisbane speaking to him. He's a very strong lad. Gareth Davis. And his kick to the far side is bouncing and not yes in touch on the full. So back it comes for a line out just short of halfway, Australian territory. And through onto the halfback Hauser. And once again the referee's whistle stopping play for a scrum knocked on from the line out. And here's this again, the scrums packing down. Let's see how much beef and power there is in this Welsh pack. Batch on the far wing, the big man running. Here he goes, Paddy Batch, through to Donovan, and the kicking touch on the full, but that's the power of the big Queensland winger. Yes, that's Batch moving back. He's a very strong and powerful player. Incidentally, uh, there was a big question mark this morning as to whether Batch would take the field. He's had a pretty heavy cold, and uh, really there was a question mark as to whether he'd play at 12 noon today. Referee by is not as satisfied at all with the way the ball is being placed into these lineouts. We've had a series of scrums following the lineout. Out to Paul McLean, and there's the little chip kick he did so well in Brisbane. That's Knight for Australia. Knight almost in the quarter. Covering up his homes on the far side. There's a clash of players back on halfway. There's Gerald Davis. Back in field to JPR Williams. JPR over halfway, looking for Davis again. Good passing. Davis is still going. And they're still at halfway. There's a clash of fight going on as the game goes on. But cup with the game. Here's Gravel. Gravel angle kick for the corner. Coming through fast is JJ. Well, that's on the line and over the line. And back on halfway. There's a fight still going on. Well, the players have been fighting there for 30, 40 seconds. And Wales almost scored a try. And there's a man coming off. Well, here's the man coming off the Graham field. It's Price. The front row, Graham Price. He is leaving the scene and means that in the first few seconds of play, it's possible that he may be replaced. Well, I guess uh, as long as we live, we'll never know really what started that because it started play with some 20 or 30 metres down the field. Uh, here's the replacement coming on, number 21. That's Richardson, who takes over from the injured Price, who's sitting on the sideline. And... Uh, Let's see what's going to happen here. A short line out, about 20 metres inside the Welsh half. Well, I was about to say, they went back to the play. They went back to the fight, and that was bad football by four Australians. They went back to the fight whilst Wales were attacking. I'd hate to have been their coach at that moment. Again, a line out that's going to end up in a scrum. Match on the far wing. And Batch in touch. It was again a clash of players on the far side. There's a big problem here. There's a big problem here now. The referee went in there and we've got a problem on our hands now. Well, the Welshman away to the left is down on the ground. And I notice JPR Williams, the new breakaway for Wales, was right in the middle of that. 
you know, it's very difficult to tell just how these things start. Uh, you've got to really have eyes in the back of your head, I'm afraid, to see what is happening out there. The referee raced in very quickly, and I thought he was going to grab one of the players, and I wouldn't have been surprised if someone was being... Here's the play now. Now, let's watch it closely. Number of players in. The ball up in the air. Nothing appears to be happening. Now, here's the referee closing in, and it must be about here that something starts. Now, there's Fanane. That's Fanane. Knocked the player down. He was attacked from behind. And the referee racing in. Now, JJ Williams coming back on the field. Out to McLean. And the short kick, where's this going to bounce? Knock on there. Midfield, just outside the Australian quarter. Well, there you witness the Welsh back line coming up in a straight line very quickly. And, of course, the man they're trying to blot out is McLean at the 5'8 position. Australia moving, that's Lane. Working the far side, that's Slack. For the corner, coming through fast, it's Batch on this. Going back is Donovan and JJ Williams with the ball in touch, about 10 metres from the Welsh line. Well now, Australia have moved themselves within, as Norman says, approximately 10 metres of the Welsh line. Now here's the action replay coming up. And watch it, it's the neat kick that almost found Batch. Here it comes. It's a neat one for the corner. The winger comes up, but it doesn't get to him. Well, back live, there's a kick by the halfback straight up in the air. It's over the line, and Gareth Davis is clearing, but it's still Wales in hard defence, only about five metres out. Nelson at the back of the line. I'm sure who was there. That's kicked through by an Australian forward. Now McLean. Oh, Hauser in trouble. Back to the referee's whistle has gone. It's a penalty Australia and a chance for Paul McLean to have his first shot at goal. Well, uh, as you can see with uh, Paul McLean walking back there, this is a fairly simple kick. For this fellow that didn't miss a kick last weekend or last Sunday in the first test. Australia looked as though they had a great chance there, but Hauser just couldn't gather the ball well enough. And uh, one of the Welsh players caught offside. And a very simple kick, almost in front. It'd probably be in line with the right hand upright. Australia in front. Paul McLean has not missed a kick against the Welsh team, and this is his third match. Miles holding, twisting a little. Gareth Davis. Long kick deep inside the quarter. Gerald Davis coming through onto Monaghan. Monaghan's going to run it, and he's in trouble. Lane for Australia. And a penalty Wales. Now back over halfway, the Welsh halfback Terry Holmes is down with an injury. So there'll be a slight stoppage here, but here's a scoring chance for Wales. An easy penalty shot, well inside the quarter. And down there is Terry Holmes, with him is JJ Williams. Now the important kick at goal to be taken this time by the 5'8 Gareth Davis. Australia leading three points to nil. It's there. Wales three, Australia three. 25 minutes in the first half. So Wales coming in pretty well. Cornelson in the back of the line for Australia. Houses kick is up towards halfway. Here's Donovan. Donovan linking up with the far side to JJ Williams. JJ following through on this one. 
and he's found an open space and JJ almost gets it now crow for Australia and that's been real to knock on but Australia in hard defense as JJ came through there uh, that's JJ Williams came through with a great power almost got that ball would have been under the post and McLean in trouble night night for Australia he's on the line taken over the line it becomes a scrum 30 minutes gone and we're starting to look at a, an Australian side that's becoming a little bit disorganized a little bit flustered and in, in those cases Wales will certainly apply some pressure particularly as this is their put in it's their loose head well that's going to be another scrum Gareth Davis, the drop it goal, and it's there. Wales in front, six to three. Nine minutes to half time. Gareth Davis so far, a penalty goal and a field goal, the only scorer for Wales. Here it comes, good push. Look how Wales hold the ball. Australia got to get back, and here it comes. Right into his hands. The pressure was coming from the defence, but straight through the middle. Good field goal. McLean's kick off. That's right over the goal line. Gareth Davis back there. And touchdown for the dropout. Long pass out here to Knight. And Knight up in the air it goes. They're charging through on Donovan. Ball for the fair catch. That was well taken. He might have been a little bit lucky to get away with that one. He gave the impression of just moving a little bit. And he hasn't found touch. Here's Monaghan. Perhaps a drop at goal. And there's a drop from Monaghan. That's a beautiful kick. It's a magnificent field goal. What a kick. Well, there he is, Laurie Monaghan. He did it at Sydney, almost from the same position on the Sydney sports ground. It was certainly the same distance and the same distance from the touch. And what a magnificent kick and what a terrible mistake by Wales. They did it against Sydney and they've done it again. And they were just getting on top. And that three points could mean a tremendous amount of damage to Wales. Kick off by Gareth Davis. Australian forwards coming up to halfway. And uh, is, let's see, there could be. I thought there may have been an offside there against Horton, the Australian hooker. But the referee is awarding. Yes, the penalty. Now, this again is a, a shot at goal. It's a very hard one. It's about two or three metres inside Austra Australia's half. And the long kicker for Wales is Fennick, the centre. Yes, Fennick coming up to take this one. and. Uh... As Norman has said, it's a pretty long one. He's about five metres inside the Australian half. He'd be ten metres from the far touch. But again, uh, I must uh, let you know, viewers, no breeze. It's a magnificent day for kickers. If they can get the distance in line, the wind will not affect it. There is none. And the kick is going to be well wide. One by McLean is over halfway. Here's Gareth Davis. High one. Monaghan calling for it. And well taken by one of the Welshmen coming through. But the referee has stopped play again. And the scrum to go down right on the Australian quarter. to McLean. McLean's kick here's a bounce important here. McLean coming through. That's Cornelson. Cornelson and Knight going out to Donovan. Cornelson very fast. And Cornelson. That's him. His Knight for Australia and knock on. That was bad luck Australia. Well not bad luck. It was bad play if a man knocks on. But once again an Australian couldn't pick up the ball. 
Well, it wasn't an easy one for him to pick up. The way it was bouncing and the position he was in, it was very difficult for him to get his boot to it. So he had to take the risk, I would say. But here it comes. Let's have a closer look. So McLean had a lash at it. Let's see when Knight comes up, whether he should have or could have got a, a boot to it. Here comes Connelson coming up on the fullback. He grabs him. Now here comes Knight. The ball goes loose. It all, I see what happened. It almost bounced up to him. I think he thought it was coming further. And certainly he didn't make an error. It, well, play on. It's obviously Donovan, I think, Mill. Yes, Donovan. J.P.R. Williams has gone back to fullback. Now, on the far side, we have Batch for Australia, but that's in touch. So, J.P.R. Williams has gone back to fullback, and uh, Gareth Evans uh, from Newport will come on to play on the wing. Well, here's a reserve now. Let's see what they do here, but at the moment, it's J.P.R. who's gone back to his fullback position. Uh, Wales playing a man short at the moment. So a danger period for them if Australia get it. Well, Nelson back to Shaw. And that kick through by Fennick is inside the quarter. Monaghan in trouble. Here's a chance for Wales. It's over the line. Back there's Cohen. Defensive dive for the ball. Stuart Lane almost scored. No try. Well, that was certainly a let-off, and it was Crow that got there. It was a very near thing. Monaghan stumbled, quick play, the ball's on. Fennec. Fennec up near halfway to J.P.R. Williams. And J.P.R. beating tackle after tackle. Penalty, Australia. That's the referee signalling a hand down in that um, all. Well, a replacement player is coming on at uh, the permission of, again, a re an injured man in midfield. And number 16 for Wales is uh, Gareth Evans, the winger. Uh, he's going on. Let's see where he'll play. Apparently, he's going to play at fullback. Or will it be... He's going to have a talk there to Gareth Davis to work out what to do. Australia, the tap kick back to Lone. Lone charging up towards halfway. He's straight through. Lone still going. A magnificent effort. Intercepted by J.P.R. Williams. Well, a magnificent solo run by Mark Lone, number eight for Australia. Yes, and it came from a, a crisscross move that was obviously planned. It comes again on the replay. Watch it, there's a crisscross with Lone going the other way. And watch how he bursts through here. The defence just can't get Hull Very powerful man. And watch for number 12, Knight, coming up and just can't get there because JPR's... Australia moving it. again. Slack. Slack going through. Back there is Gareth Evans in defence and Slack calling for the fair catch. That was Gareth Evans and the ball's loose. Gareth Davis. That's a fine clearing kick. Yes, he's found touch on halfway. <laughs> now the indication by referee Byers of a free kick. Going to Australia. It's very close now to half time. A couple of minutes to go. Paul McLean, and that's an up and under from McLean. Way back there is Gareth Davis, and he's called for a fair catch. And not in touch, here's Monaghan. Monaghan following this one through, and they're looking around for this one, who's there? Gareth Evans caught by Monaghan. Well won by Australia. McLean. And a penalty Australia. They are all offside. Every one of those backs from Wales, obviously offside. Penalty Australia. It's in front, about 35 metres up. Yes, uh, this is one of the problems that the Welsh back line have had uh, in previous matches, and they had it uh, in the first test. They were, I would say, any one of four was offside uh, when Australia started to spin that ball. They were right up on the Australian backs and they are so anxious. Here it comes and you can see them all coming up there very quickly and they're all standing there before that ball came out from that mall. It's good. 
Australia leading nine points to six, and it's right on half time. Paul McLean, his second penalty goal, and there is the signal for half time. So at half time, Australia nine, leading Wales six. Now the scorers in the first half for Australia Paul McLean, two penalty goals, Monaghan, a drop goal. For Wales, Gareth Davis, a penalty goal, also a drop goal. So three points of difference at half time. They're ready for the start of the second half, and it's Gareth Davis to kick off for Wales. Well, Fennick taking the scissors kick right down to Crow, the Australian winger, and that's over the goal line. Well, that's not a bad kick by Wales. Let's put the pressure on. You'd be surprised if Monaghan comes up and tries a long one, but it's coming out quickly to McLean here. And his drop is over halfway. Gareth Davis. And Davis is going to run this. And on the far side, we have the halfback, Terry Holmes. And a penalty, Australia. Well, that man could not have been further offside. No further comment needed, I don't think. So... Uh, Australia have a chance to get themselves his Monaghan coming up to, to put themselves well into the Welsh half which could be a really fine second half and finding touch down towards the Welsh quarter about 20 metres over halfway victory by Holmes Monaghan just outside his own quarter and a poor kick. Now here's a chance for Wales. I can run from here. Looking up to this side. Over here to JJ Williams. And JJ Williams going backwards now. Fennick. Australia there getting there very quickly. But well won by Wales. Out here to Gareth Davis. And a long kick deep down towards the quarter. That's bouncing towards the line. A fine kick by Gareth Davis. A fine effort. Only about 15 metres out from Australia's line. Davis, long pass to Gravel. Right on the quarter. Now straight to Paul McLean, and it's rebound, it's near the line, that's Fennick, can't take it. JJ Williams out here to JJ, and here's the half, Terry Holmes, back in field to JJ. He was about a metre short. Well, Australian defence almost opened up there. It looked as though Wales were going in there. And it was only just that Wales had to prop, or I think it was JJ had to prop him to line himself up to go for the line. But he came just a little bit back to the defence. He didn't have much room. But that defence was almost broken. Australian forwards just moving play out a couple of metres, a fairly desperate scrum there. We're still only about three metres from the Australian line. And here's a big push by the Welshman. Push back right to the line. And is that a try? No try. Holmes was in fact over the line. Well, as you can see, a very difficult thing to say. The Welsh players very upset. Fennick came in. That's Lone down there, number eight for Australia. Not looking too happy, just getting up. The referee is right on the spot. And as you can appreciate, very difficult to tell from here. It's referee Dick Byers. And they're looking at our sidearm shot. They're about a metre out. Now looking for the big push again. Right on the line. That's a try. That's a try. Now the scorer would have to be the halfback, Holmes. He went down the other side of the scrum. It's 10 to 9. 
Well, that puts a different complexion on it. It was a good play once again. Here it comes. It's Holmes on the far side. The ball is in. Here's Hauser, the Australian player of the halfback, coming around. Wales wheeling the ball a little bit, which would mean, I think, that Hauser's probably lost it. They're getting close to the line. Now, I don't know who put that ball down. Well, the only man it could be under the laws of the game would be the halfback. So Gareth Davis to attempt the conversion. Wales in front, 10 to 9. And that's going to be very close. It's just coming in and just shaving the bar or the upright. So Wales in front by one point. Five minutes into the second half. Oh, now, what a, what a game we have. Gareth Davis. And we've just had confirmed that our ABC radio broadcasting the match today from end on, that's from the cricket ground boxes at the, in the noble stand, had said that Holmes, they could see a good view of that, but Holmes was the scorer. And back at the other end of the field, there's a, an injured player, Wales at the fact of going on a, a man short at the present time. JJ Williams, of course, who was receiving injury. Here's Australia, Paul McLean. They're charging through on this batch. It's coming through fast. The ball's going to bounce. The bounce is back there. Who's there? It's on the line, over the line, and it's almost a try to Australia. And this batch coming through, but here's a chance. Australia has the loose head a couple of metres out. Yes, JJ Williams was off the field. The CSC, number 11, just going back. He was off getting treatment, so it's felt danger in this corner for them, uh, for Wales. Hauser to Batch, Batch for the corner, he's strong, Batch is almost there. Well, that was close. Batch, very big, powerful, and there's uh, JJ Williams, you can see. I would think he's probably uh, torn a hamstring or something. He's been limping for quite a while, and finding it very difficult, so Wales have another problem on their hands. Now, the slight hold up here, JJ is still on the field, and let's see what happens. The referee has indicated time out now play on one meter from the Welsh line try to Australia at the back of the line now let's see who that was it could be Shaw perhaps or yes was it Shaw I think it might have been Hill House <laughs> we'll have to see that and replay somebody towards the back there yes I think it was maybe Hill House but let's have a look it's Welsh throw in, and this, there's the jump up there. Oh, that was Hillhouse said it went up high, and uh, it's someone at the back of the line out. May have been Lane. Well, it's Mark Lane has been announced as a scorer, so we've seen two tries in a row. It's been very difficult on both occasions, just to indicate who the actual scorer was. Here's Lane again. from about 12 metres inside the Welsh half. Well, it was Lane that went in with that ball there, and uh, Wales obviously were able to... It looks as though Lane may be injured. Lane may be injured there. It's number eight. But Wales certainly got hold of that ball. Wales very anxious to get on with the game, as you saw, packed down very quickly, trailing by three points. Now the penalty here going to Wales. And, well, there's a change of... A decision there that's a, the indication went one way and now it's gone the other yes there's no doubt about it the referee gave the decision as though he's going to give a penalty uh, uh, to Wales and then something occurred and uh, uh, the penalty has gone Australia's way he'd blown the whistle and so McLean who shows that he's human missed one kick at goal is coming up to take this one that is the 10 metre line inside the Welsh half and he's in directly in front of the goal post. So whilst it's a reasonable distance, it's a straight line in. Once again, a fine kick from McLean. It's there. Australia to a lead of 16 points to 10 after 13 minutes in the second half.
Phoenix. Cross kick right down over the goal line. So once again, we'll see the Australians dropping out from the quarter. Unusual formation here by the Australian forwards. They're all in midfield. Nice work by Martin, the second row, now Holmes. The whistle has gone, it's a penalty here going to Wales. Oh, very difficult to suggest what happened there. The referee allowed play to continue there for a while. Maybe on the screen, uh, the viewers may have cited something that I didn't watching across the field, a very difficult to pick. And now Australian supporters breaking out in waltzing Matilda. Welsh supporters have been singing a number of their songs. Here's the replay now. Let's have a close look at it. Play it down. Push that ball back, which I don't think he should have because it had touched the ground. And there's the hand down. That's obviously why the penalty was given. A hand down. Looking so, across the field, we haven't seen it. So Gareth Davis's kick. It's there. 16-13. Only three points of difference and still 25 minutes to go. So Wales kicking some goals for a change. Well, Wales calling to the short line out. Very short one. Normally they fare well in the short line outs. Hillhouse for Australia. Now Cornelson. Short. McLean. Long pass the far side to Crow. Crow's on the way. Crow down towards the corner. Crow. Cross kick, Holmes back in defence, it's on the line and Holmes taking it over. Now it's a scrum, Australia's loose head. Oh, good football by Australia, a long pass, almost got Crow, that's Crow number 11. Well, he got away, but the cover got across fairly quickly, forcing him to in-kick. Here's the scrum. McLean, and a reverse to Slack. Working the fast side of McLean, and who's there? Crow couldn't take the pass. They had two men there. Yes, it wasn't the best pass, so had a good one. Now to McLean, a drop at goal, and that kick is there. Three more points to Australia, 19 to 13. A drop goal. So Wales kicking some goals for a change. Well, Wales calling to the short line out. A very short one. Normally they fare well in the short line outs. Hillhouse for Australia. Now Cornelson. Short. McLean. Long pass the far side to Crow. Crow's on the way. Crow down towards the corner. Crow. Cross kick. Holmes back in defence. It's on the line and Holmes taking it over. Now it's a scrum, Australia's loose head. Oh, good football by Australia, a long pass, almost got Crow, that's Crow number 11. Well, he got away, but the cover got across fairly quickly, forcing him to in-kick. Here's the scrum. McLean, and a reverse to Slack. Working the fast side of McLean, and who's there? Crow couldn't take the pass. They had two men there. Yes, it wasn't the best pass, so had a good one. Now to McLean, a drop at goal, and that kick is there. Three more points to Australia, 19 to 13. A drop goal by Paul McLean. And a lot of the Welshmen disputed that decision. There must have been four or five of them talking to the referee and waving as though that went under. Very difficult to tell from here, but uh, let's have a look. The only way that I think we can tell is that if we see the ball cross with the with the right goal post in the back line. Now, watch how in the background. Bad because of the light. Very difficult to tell. 
And on the back line out to a bad pass there. But here's Monaghan in the line. Australia not going too well now. Kick by Fennick. It's right on the goal line. Back there on defence is Batch. Batch number 14. It's on the line and over the line. Paul Nelson forcing down. But Australia very lucky to get out of that. But there's a penalty Wales. Yes, one of the Australian players came off from an offside position. Australia has an injured player back on the quarter. Yes, I think that may be Monaghan. But there was no doubt about it. An Australian player came from an offside position down near the goal line. Here it comes. Watch when it's down the goal line. This is a bad wild pass where it came off from a night there. That's where Monaghan was crashed to the ground. Play kick ahead by Fennick there. Now watch how this player touches it. And one player, that's number 11, comes from an offside position. Now play on. And a move coming up here by Wales. Five metres short of the Australian line. That's Lane. Working the far side goes home. a chance of JPR. The winger on the far side, Gerald Davis, he's in. And that's a record equaling try by Gerald Davis. A magnificent effort by him. It's 19 to 17. The kick at goal will level the scores. And Gerald Davis now equals the highest scorer as far as tries are concerned in international rugby. That's his 20th try. Well, they've come right back into it. Wales have certainly... Here it comes. Now, here's the big push. Now, watch how the ball comes through there. As Wales come up. They bring this up pretty well. Looked as though they were going through. The defence was there. It was all round them. And it's the quick switch of play. JPR's pass at the finish was really the thing that got Wales the, the try in the corner. Now, it's JPR's next pass. He got it away quickly, drew the defence, and he's over. Now, here's the shot of goal, which may level the scores. It's... Wide, so Australia still in front by a mere two points. It's Australia 19, Wales 17. Well, that handballing now for Lecky for Australia. Hauser in trouble behind the pack, and an offside against number two for Wales, Bobby Windsor, the hooker. Yes, Windsor offside. Rather strange, the, the two man line out that both sides are electing because, uh, to take because. Neither side are, are really winning them with uh, any great deal of uh, confidence. They seem to be sharing it up. Nine minutes to go. Two points the difference. Australia 19, Wales 17. And once again, the short line out. Wales to put the ball in. It's Holmes. Holmes clean through. Holmes to Gravel. Gravel has Jake. Jake. Gerald Davis out there, Gerald Davis, no, Holmes again, Holmes still going, he's close to the line, and who's there inside him? Ball's loose, very close to the Australian line, there was a knock on there, but a great effort. Well, the man diving over the line, the whistle had gone long before that, but a fine effort by the new player, Terry Holmes. It was, it was a great effort because he burst through there, honey, very close to the line here, so some important play coming up. Out to the centre, that was a bad pass, a dangerous pass. Welsh ball, Gravel to Fennick, a drop, he was thinking about a drop. JPR Williams, JPR still going. In touch, less than 10 metres out. Australia. Well, that's uh, certainly relief for Australia and frustration for Wales. And Monaghan, that's uh, quite a good touch finder, taking play almost to halfway. Well, the Australian skipper, Tony Shaw, has now obviously been having a good look at the clock. Seven and a half minutes to go. He has two points up his slew. He will certainly be suggesting that no mistakes be made and the defence must tighten up. Gareth Evans, Gareth Davis along it comes, and they're charging through here. That's Gareth Evans over to this side. Gerald Davis is over here too. Back to Fennick. Long pass to the far side. And there's JPR Williams. JPR has 
Gareth Davis with him. Scrum just short of halfway. And no doubt the urgency is creeping into the Welshman's play. They've got to take a risk now and run it from everywhere. Well, now time slipping away for Wales. Every stoppage is a benefit to Australia. Wales still managing a big push in that scrum. That's screwed round by the Australians. A hill house. Nice work by the Australian forwards. McLean and McLean. Back to Lane there. Working this side, but there's a penalty, Australia. A penalty awarded against the centres on the far side of the field. And that's right on halfway. So I imagine that Paul McLean, with only four minutes to go, will attempt a shot at goal. Now, penalties favouring Australia, 13 to 6. And I guess if this Welsh side have made mistakes on the tour, and they've made some, and they've done, had provided us with some magnificent football, but their greatest problem has been this particular uh, aspect of the game where their backs are so anxious to get up and cover the Australian backs that they are repeatedly, and there's no doubt about it, when you looked across the field and the referee was watching them, that here again we saw not one, but two or three players well up offside. They have been so anxious and very anxious to get up on defence. And of course this has fallen completely into the hands of Australia, because whilst he's taking this kick, the seconds are ticking by, and at this stage, seconds are starting to count. And McLean's kick is going to fall just short as it is. Very close, under the bar. It was just a little bit wide, too. A reverse to Gerald Davis. Gerald Davis coming up towards the corner. Gerald Davis, and this side, nice passing to Gareth Evans. Keeping the ball going. That's pro for Australia. Well taken. Good morning effort by Wales, but Holmes in trouble. Yes, Holmes was in trouble because the ball was on the ground. He wanted to have a look where the defence is. And whilst looking up the field, he attempted to pick it up. And it was a slight knock on. How's up? How's up? Back in field to Cornelson. Now that's Lone. Two minutes to go, perhaps a little less than that. Scrum ten metres inside the Welsh half. Good push by Wales again. How's it caught? And it's so much batch. They're chasing through on this. Underneath it is JPR. And back coming through, out here to Gareth Evans. Yes, in the gloom across there, looking to the clock, I would say proud two minutes maximum, I would think. Clock creeping round. Of course, Horton has thrown that one in. It was not in straight. Uh, and I'll be surprised if he shows this one in straight. As it pulls play up if he so desires. Now Wales moving this ball out to Fennec and JPR Williams in the back line. Long kick downfield. Monaghan for Australia. And Monaghan finds the line and there's the siren. And Australia has won by 19 points to 17. Australia 19, defeating Wales 17 to win the two matches of the series after they won 18 to 8 in Brisbane. For Australia, loan a try. McLean, three penalty goals and one drop goal. Monaghan, a drop goal. And for Wales, Holmes, a try. Gareth Davis, two penalty goals, one drop goal. Australia defeating Wales 19 to 17.